hands up if you hit snooze every morning when your alarm goes off. I mean, I want to be that rising star at the crack of dawn, but I also like to sleep. So what do you do when you want to sleep as much as possible before work and still want to get your makeup on and shine like a star? This two-toned eyeshadow look. This works for every eye shape, and you can tailor the colors based on your mood, outfit, or theme. A few videos ago, I taught my three-step eyeliner technique in a video, and in the comments, Jody asked if I could do a video on that eyeshadow look. And originally, that eyeshadow look was a part of a bigger video that I was gonna put out, but I ended up cutting it. However, we did film the tutorial on that eyeshadow look, so here you go, Jody. Here's what you have to remember about this two-tone technique. You'll need a lighter color than your skin tone that you're gonna put on the eyelid, and a shade that's a little darker than your skin tone to go in the crease. I'll be using the Fade Into You palette from ColourPop and the shades Empress and Lovecraft. But this technique works no matter what color you use, which is why I'm wearing a different combo right now because I really want you to get that techniques are important, but colors are subjective. The green is dyed up and the yellow is shine bright, also from this Fade Into You palette. You see, to get the most definition in your makeup, you wanna use different textures. Examples are glitter and matte, satin and metallic, and so on. The lid shadow can be a shimmer, metallic, glitter, whatever texture you like, but for the crease, I want you to keep it matte. So let's glow on into that demo. So I'm gonna be using Express on my lid and I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. I have a tissue right here, so I'm dabbing the excess onto the tissue. My head's tilted back and I'm looking straight into the mirror. And this is gonna help me create a whole nice smooth eye so I don't have to worry about closing it because if I close it or squint it, see how you get a little bit of lines? It doesn't give you a smooth surface to apply your eyeshadow, so look down. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press the shadow right into the center. I do like to press instead of swipe because that's how you get the most payoff. And I am pretty obsessed with this eyeshadow color already. It is so pretty. This is so ethereal. This is like, this is all fairy life right there. I'm getting a little bit more on my brush and keeping my eyes open, I'm just gonna make, make sure that I'm going all the way up to the crease of my eyes. So that's gonna be right here. I know I mentioned this is for hooded eyes, um, however, you can do this for any eye shape, especially if you want to make your eyelid look bigger. And that's what I'm going for here. So that way, you know, when I'm looking straight at you, you can see that the color is a little bit higher and it makes it more visible. Next, I'm going to take a fluffy brush and Lovecraft, and you're going to see this super easy. I've got the product loaded on my brush. I'm going to go right into my crease. Now I'm keeping my eyes open and I'm looking straight in the mirror. I don't want you to close your eyes and I don't want you necessarily to tilt your head back for this either. I want you to keep your head looking forward. And that's so you can see exactly where you want to place the crease to make sure that you're going above the area that you just put the eyeshadow on. So you can see here's where that purple stopped and now I'm putting the pink right above it. And Lovecraft is a matte eyeshadow. And you can see it's a very soft color. It's not too dark, but it is darker than the color on my lid. So I'm creating definition and we're playing with some color. I do love purple and pinks together. These are my favorite. And I did get a little bit more shadow onto my brush. In general, I like to start with less product on my brush and add more as needed. And the way that I'm applying, I'm going right from the outer corner and I'm moving it forward towards the inner part of my eye. Then if I have to brush this out because it's skipping or dragging or you see any patchiness, you can go right into the inner corner and blend it back into the center. Notice that I'm also holding the brush further down on the handle. This allows me to apply less pressure. And because it's a fluffy brush, I'm also getting less product and a more diffused look. See, super soft, super easy. If I wasn't talking so much, this would be on already and we'd be done in 30 seconds. The idea of this look is to be very simple and fast. So it's just two colors. However, I do wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna use a white eyeliner pencil and I'm gonna go right into my waterline and apply it right there. This is gonna help my eyes look a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna take a pencil brush using Lovecraft and I'm just going to put it underneath my lashes to just add a little bit of definition for when I do mascara. Just a little bit of hint of a color. And if you're scared of color or you don't, you know, you're not really sure how to use it and you're just starting out, this is a good spot to play with color. Just put it there and keep neutrals on top. And start with your favorite color, like I mentioned earlier. I added an eyeliner for the eyeliner tutorial I previously mentioned, and I'm linking it up on the screen so you can watch it, because my three-step eyeliner technique makes winged eyeliner so easy that you'll never have to worry about symmetry again. Let me know in the comments below what other videos or tutorials you wanna see, because maybe your suggestion will be our next video.